Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 125. So where we left off in our last tutorial, we had just set up our window and we set it up to be draggable. So we can move it around on the screen. Uh, we also set up the function to call to make this uh, toggleable so it can go on and off. And I'm going to go ahead and head into my input manager. And I'm going to set up a key for that. So I'm just going to come down here. I'm not using Fire 3, so I'm just going to rename this one. And I'm just going to call it Toggle Inventory. Uh, descriptive name. Toggle the display of the inventory. Uh, I'm not going to bother with a negative button. Uh, for my positive button, I'm just going to use I. And I'm not going to bother setting up alternates. I'm actually going to get rid of this. Make sure they're all clear. Uh, these values really don't matter since I'm just going to be using it as a button and not an axis. And we'll just make sure that it's set to type key or mouse button. Alright. So I'm just going to save that off. I'm going to hit save project just to make sure that it's saved. I'm going to actually stay in Unity. I'm going to open up our input manager that we have attached to our player, which is player input. So I'll just open that class. And I'm just going to add it at the very beginning of update. So I'm just going to say if, actually we probably already have one done. We want the button up. So I'm just actually going to cut and paste this. I find it generally leads to fewer typos for me. And the button up I'm looking for is toggle inventory and I want to send message which is just going to be toggle inventory and I'm not going to be sending any parameters so everything there looks fine I'm going to head back into my GUI and we're going to have to add that as a listener so again I'm just going to cut and paste so we're going to add a listener and what we're listening for is toggle inventory. I just cannot spell it this morning. And the function we want to call is toggle inventory window. Now I'm also going to have to add a on disable or remove listener for it. And make sure we get the same string. and change the function we're calling. All right, so I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna take a look. Uh, that seems to be set up okay. So I'm gonna save it off, head back into Unity, and we'll make sure there's no errors, and we're just gonna give it a try. So now when I hit the I key, uh, it says that toggle inventory has no receiver. So toggle in Ventory, so did I spell something wrong? Let's just go check. I'll open up model develop. I'm going to go into player inputs. T O G G L E I N V. Uh, seems right. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sending message. And send message is not what I wanted. I wanted to broadcast my message. Uh, so we're going to use Messenger. And we're not sending anything. So we'll just go straight to the broadcast. And the broadcast is toggle inventory there we go so we're going to go back into unity and we'll start it back up and see if that makes a difference so it starts up I hit I and there we go so if we toggle it on move it hit I then toggle it back it should appear in the exact same spot great uh, it does seem that we have one error and let's just go see where it is uh, that's not going to help me. It's about removing the listener. Right here. I've just spelt it wrong. I forgot the R in inventory. So we'll just save that off and that should fix it. Quickly check just to make sure. Uh, let me see here. So off, on, off, on, move it around. 
All right, so that's working. So now let's go ahead and actually start adding some, some buttons there. So I'm going to come back up here to the inventory window variables, because that should have been plural. And I want to define how many rows and how many columns of buttons I'm going to have. So I'm going to start off with uh, rows. So I'll make it a private. It's going to be an int. And I'm just going to call it uh, inventory rows. And I'm going to set that equal to 6. And I'll make another one of type int and it's going to be called inventory calls C-O-L-S for columns and I'm going to make that four so it's going to be four across by six down now of course you can change these values to you know whatever you want your inventory to be like but for start that's how I want mine and let me see is there anything else I'll need here uh, that's probably it for now so let's come down to our method that we created, which is way down here. And just above the, the GUI drag window is where I'm going to implement the uh, buttons. So this here can be done easily with just uh, nested for loops. So we're going to say int y. Uh, let's get that int in there. Int y is equal to 0. y is less than inventory rows and then increase y and I'm gonna add a line there and then we'll just do another one so for int x is equal to 0 x is less than inventory columns x plus plus now the reason why I'm using X and Y here, uh, usually they're frowned upon because they're very bad you know, descriptive names, but I'm using it because uh, if you think of it in the sorts of a grid, uh, Y is going up and down and X is side to side. So let's just start putting the buttons in. So I'm going to say GY button. And we'll have to make a new rect for this. So. I'm just going to hard cast everything for now. Well, for the stuff that we don't have already. And I'm going to want to add about a 5 pixel offset from the side. So 5, and then I'm going to add to it my X value, uh, which we're getting from our for loop. And I'm going to time that by our button width. And I believe we have button width defined. Uh, let me just come up here and check. I uh, swore we've made a button. There we go. Button width. So we made it public. We should make that private, but we'll just start doing button width now. And that'll move each button over, uh, well, basically five from the side times the amount, number of buttons that came before it. And then we're also going to want to be able to tell it how far down we want to go. Now, I've already measured mine out, so I know that 20 is the value I want from the top. And I'm just going to add to that. And the value I'm going to add is Y times button height. And then, of course, I want it to be button width wide. And I want it to be button height high. We'll put a comma there. And for starters, I'm just going to put the uh, the actual number of the button. So to get the number of the button that we're actually that this button was, we can just say y plus x times. And then we can do underscore. I'm sorry, that's the wrong way. It's x plus y times the number of. Um, buttons that we have in a row or the column and we'll convert that to a string I'm just gonna save that off we'll head into mono develop or sorry into unity I'll hit play and there we go it's populated full of buttons numbered from 0 to 23 and of course uh, you can't click on the button and drag it, but you can click anywhere outside the button, but inside the inventory. 
and drag it. Later on, I may just want to have you be able to drag it by clicking the inventory label, but that's something I can look at later. So we'll stop that. And it appears that we're already over 10 minutes. So I'm going to save this off and we'll pick up in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.